Hey, little muddy. What you doing, little boy? Come for a little visit? Just working again as usual. What you doing? Ah, good boy. I'll get back to it now, muddy. You can hang out here if you want. Rightio, I was out and about looking for a bit of wood for this handle and sheath and I came across this big giant log. This one actually came down at the back of my mum's property. So I've grabbed that, I've taken it inside and I sawed a little bit off just to see what it was like. But, unfortunately for me, it's all rotten and stuff on the inside so that ain't gonna work. And then after that I found this bit of wood, but there's a big crack that's popped up there. And on the other side of this one, there's a hole that's popped up. So, again, that ain't gonna work either. Now, I've come across these, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because I don't usually like using sort of pre-milled wood like this. I much rather working from natural sticks. But, every stick that I found that was long enough wasn't thick enough. And if it was thick enough, it wasn't long enough. So, I think I'm gonna have to go with this. Yeah. Oh, let's give it a go, eh? now I've done a couple of things off camera I've taken a bit of glue just on the end of my finger and run it along the seam here just to hold the two pieces together while I carve it and I've got the two chiseled outsides against each other so the cavity is on the inside now and I've also drawn a bit of a line on for the blade just so I don't go too far and to do that I've just put it on the top like this and traced around it but I am a little bit worried because I can't see the chiseled out part obviously so I've sort of guessed where this was, but I'm afraid it might be like a millimetre this way or a millimetre that way or something. So there's a possibility that once I do this, it won't line up. So a little bit worried about that, but as always, you just got to sort of get started with it, I guess. So time to start making this into more of a actual blade shape. Here's a little lesson about being cheap for you. All I had to do was bring it down to this little line here on the Suba and I've wasted five of these little sanding drum things. They just kept on exploding on me. These are these little like cheap ones that I got off eBay. So yeah, you get what you pay for I guess. I should have just bought a whole bunch of good ones to start with. But live and learn, eh? Oakley doakley. Now to the part that I've been dreading. Time to break it apart and see what the recess on the inside's like. So, let's just do it, eh? 
Oh, there we go. We've got it apart. Time to see if the blade actually sort of fits where I want it to. Rightio, I'm actually like very, very happy with that. All that marking out I did at the start really paid off. I've got a centimetre and a half on either side of the tang here, and I've got a centimetre on either side of the blade here. So now, time to glue these two bits back together and do the proper detail work onto it. Yeah! Three coats of varnish later, you should have something that looks kind of like this. This is my cipher burnt onto one side of it, and I've also burnt the yin yangs onto the handle. Uh, sorry I didn't show you the burning of the yin yangs. I swear I taped that footage, but when it came to editing, I couldn't find it anywhere. So yeah, there's the other half of my cipher, unfortunately upside down, so sorry about that again. And now I'm going to show you my little latching mechanism got a pretty nice tight fit there but it's pretty good. I'm happy with how that turned out. 
And there's my blade, obviously. It's all nice and shiny. I gave that another polish just before I sort of showed you all of this. And this here is my latching mechanism. Just sort of showing you how the magnets and everything popped up. So yeah, very happy with this. Nice little snap here at the end. Now I'm just going to put this down for a second because I've got a bit of crazy exciting news for you. Last night I cracked 1,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you so much everyone. It means a lot to me, it really does. I couldn't have done it without you. So yeah, it's like I'm shocked for words so I don't even know what to say. I'm just very very pleased with that so again thank you so very very much. To mark the occasion I'll be doing yet another giveaway. So leave a comment in the little comments down below and you're in the draw. I'm going to leave this one open for two weeks as usual, so this one will close on the 5th of September 2018. Good luck everybody and thank you yet again. As always, thanks for watching everybody.